episode 13. I can't believe we've had a dozen of these videos behind us. And the only item we have in our entire store is this painting of the queen for $8,000. The good news is we have $5,761. It's time to go shopping. So we're going to hop on the highway heading the wrong way just so we can get to our storage unit. However, I am kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of going to this one. <clears throat> uh, I've never had any luck at the other one. So I think this is the one. Yeah, we'll just use this one. Actually, you know what? We could take this new road. This road up here was never here. So why don't we take it? You know what? For the first time, let's let's just go check it out. Well, I shouldn't say the first time, but let's uh yeah, let's give it a shot. So this road was never here. This was added in the most recent update. So this is gonna take us from where our shop is uh down to the other end. I wish it was a little closer. I wish the like the way end was connected, but uh this is much, much better. You know what? I don't feel I don't feel so bad about going shopping now that the sun's going down. The store would have only been open for another hour and a half anyway, so I'm okay with keeping the store closed for the day. So this is the one I wanted to go to. Um, I don't really have a lot of good luck here, or I have it in the past, but you know what? Let's try it. Let's uh, we're gonna go. But the throttle is touchy on this thing. You know what? I'm just going to get out. And we're going to go talk to this guy at the desk. And if we don't have something in our price range, we're going to go check out the other one. I want cheap ones. That's what I want. Um, I would take that one. 1206. I would take that. But let's just see what's on the other side. I bet you. I bet you the people look the same. The guys look the same. So we're about the same. Uh, I think... Yeah, we'll take this one right here, 1462. Um, it's a nurse. I have had good luck with nurses uh, storage units, so let's go take a look. Here we are. Please keep your fingers crossed. Ooh, okay, all right. Ooh, there we go. We got an airsoft rifle that's broke. Ooh, we have. <gasps> oh, you know what that is? That is an RC car that we can now test out, but Oh, no, it is working. Oh, we're definitely. You know what? We're definitely going to try that out. But we got to go grab the van. So this is the first time I've seen this. This is a PC, PC9, but it's only worth. Uh-oh. It's not worth anything now that I. Oh, I got to move the van real quick because it's underneath it. Um, They added like, what, 30 new items or something like that? So that might be one of them I've never seen. A desktop PC. I've seen a lot of laptops, but can I turn this this way? That chair is going to give us a problem, isn't it? No. Oh, it's perfect. A $980 watch. So between everything that's in the truck right now, we have paid for this unit. If it sells at full retail, we have, we have paid for this unit. We are now into the profit. All right, I saved it for last. We're going to go and we're going to test drive this. Oh, can I test drive it out here? I mean, we go down the sidewalk. All right, let's test drive this thing. I think we can. It says use. There it is. So how do I... Can I not... Can't use the controller? No, you can't use the controller. I can't see it. So where? Uh oh, where to go? There it is. Uh oh, 
I got it stuck already. Right, I'm gonna try it on the other side of the road. Let's see here. Can I? Where is it? All right. I gotta be able to see this thing, man. No, it gets stuck. Oh no, it gets stuck. So I have to drop it in the road. Probably should have found a parking spot, parking lot for this to go to, but. Look at that, that is so cool. That is awesome. How much is it worth? We didn't even check that. All right, 75 bucks. It doesn't have to be repaired. We're sitting on, what are we sitting on here? Come on. This, uh, we got a problem with this thing. Um, so here's the deal. We have a lot more room in the truck. So let's go see if we can grab Maybe another more, another unit or two. Uh, I think I like this 1496. Uh, there, it was owned by a doctor. I'm okay with that. Doctor's gotta have good stuff. Oh, it's all the way on the end. This is gonna take so long to load the van. What do we got? Oh, what is this, man? What? It's six bucks. That's what it is. Um, of junk magazine. This is not good so far. Ooh, a woofer box. 50 some macaroskis. All right, not much of anything in that, um, unit. I'm going to close, yeah, let's close this up. We'll drive around to the other side and see if we can find something cheaper. Look at all this traffic. This is crazy. We're on the other side of the building, and I kind of like this one right here. Depot 6, another doctor. Uh, did I buy it? Did I... Did I buy it? Did I not? Wait a second, what's going on here? I did not. Now we did. Alright, so this is our third unit, right? So, <laughs> why is it all the way on the end? Both the doctor units have been all the way at the end. Ooh, what do we got here? We got some junk. <gasps> I saw a steering wheel. Yes! And another airsoft rifle. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know, though. They don't really sell that well. They don't hold their... They don't hold their resale value, right? That's how I feel. So I think we've got enough money for one more... Uh, well, yeah, we'll buy this cheap one right here. Uh, twelve fifty-eight. No, nah, you know what? Thirteen oh two. Let's try it. That leaves us with three hundred and ninety bucks. And the other part is, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit this in the van. The van is pretty darn full. All right, so this we'll have to put this in our hand. I did this trick last night. Put it in your hand and uh, get in the van. And it'll drive there. So let's put this one out here. Probably the bicycle as well. And hopefully there's a bunch of small stuff. This table is not worth it. It's, you know, it's 10 bucks. Somebody's going to try to bargain. Uh, it's just not worth it. So, yeah. It's like, stuff like this is going to fit just fine. Like this chair. We're going to get 6 bucks. It retails for 5 we're going to get six bucks just by throwing it in the trash. So, what? Do, ooh, we got a toolbox. Ooh, $170 toolbox. I'll take it. $145 controller. That's kind of broken, though. We'll have to get it fixed. So, we're just about empty. We have, what do we got? We have a computer chip. So, that's going to be sweet. So, I think we're going to be able to fit the rest of the stuff in here. So, we just got to cram it in. So, that's four units. In, in this van, so uh, I'm cool with that. And then we'll just um, put the bike in our hand. Oh, I f something fell out. Lots of stuff. All right, vans are loaded. Look at this. Four you it's hard to believe that is four units worth of stuff. So we're going to put one thing in this hand, one thing in this hand, and get in the truck. There. 
It fits. Now all we gotta do is get ourselves back to the shop. <clears throat> Van is empty. Uh, barely anything's on the shelf. I didn't realize how much broken stuff there was. Look at this. That is the biggest pile of broken stuff I think I've ever had. I got to put all of our jewelry away. I'm going to put some of our, um, like our bags in there, like our purses and stuff. Now, I'm not going to price anything because when we get in in the morning, I'm going to have our guy, um, the guy that researches prices, I'm going to have him price everything all at once. So at least it's making this part a little bit quicker. Right, I'm going to head back to the camper. We're going to sleep. We're going to come right back here and get everything priced real fast. So instead of taking the van, we're going to fast travel to the truck and whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and flip this, but it's going to say everything is, yeah, there's items that aren't priced. So we're going to have him price all the items. Okay, so research the price of the items on the shelf. There we go. So everything should be priced. There we go. And we've got to get this guy working as well because he's got a pile in here and we've got bills to pay. So we've hopefully we make enough money. By the end of the day, oop, there we go, already. Hopefully we make enough money by the end of the day uh, to pay our bills. And have a little extra left over. Jewelry is selling really good today. Well, I mean, we sold a bag and we sold a ring. Um, and no bargains, so. Alright, so we gotta put this... Come on. Gonna put this airsoft out. I don't know where I want to put it though. You know what? Let's just put it and we'll put it on the floor. I got nothing else going here today. And we're just gonna have this guy do it. So we got an offer on the painting that we won at the auction on the last episode, but we're so far apart, I am not entertaining that. I'm not entertaining it. That is what we paid for it. We paid like 39 hundred bucks for that painting I am definitely not I'm not I'm not even going to entertain these people's low ball offers we're about halfway through the workday and I think we're gonna yeah see uh, 1134 so we're gonna pay our bill which brings us down to 45 bucks but that's okay all we have is stuff to sell everything that we have uh, to be repaired is repaired and we still have a bunch of high-end items on the shelf so all we got to do is sell some stuff to make room for their last of it one of the airsoft rifles 270 bucks not a single bargain look at all the floor items are well except for the last one but yeah it's been pretty busy in fact we're knocking on the door of a grand again and all our bills are paid we're close. We're real close. $7,145. Let's hit this guy with 7700 <gasps> He took it. Oh my god. We made like a $4,000 profit off that painting. That is wild. Another big ticket item. We got a gun case. You know what? I'm just gonna let her have it. We were asking 850. She's bargaining 840. You know what? Let's just try it. Try 849. Hey, she, <laughs> she took it. We're getting towards the end of the day. Remember, there's only uh, we can only stay up until 1900 hours, uh, and then it's gonna tell us that it's too late. But look at that, $10,000. That's enough to buy a box truck, but I just don't feel... I don't have enough on the shelves to be able to get more inventory. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to. Maybe if I sold the van. Maybe. 
this could very well be our last customer of the business day. 74, you know what? I'll buy it. Because I did. That's the one I took for a test drive. Yep, that's it. The last. Uh, that's it for the day, man. We are. We're going to get out of here. Um, I got to shut the. Yeah, there we go. Shut the door. Let's just. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go and find out how much we can sell this van for. That's what I wanted in the first place. I right, made it to the dealership. Let's just, you know what? This doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but, you know, let's figure it out. So we already have that truck. This is the van. If we sold it, I think we would make five grand, right? So let's try it. Well, actually. Oh, it's 14.5. Never mind. That changes everything. I thought it was 10 grand. All right. Well, I guess we know. I guess we know what we're not doing. Well, if you can't buy a truck, might as well buy a storage unit. That's my favorite saying. Well, it's not, but when I play this game, it is. So let's see what, uh, let's see if we can have some better luck than we had uh, at the last three we purchased. I don't think I want to go super crazy, but these all seem like they're not bad. I like this. I like this. 1776. I just like that number. So we're going to start with that one. I'm not going to buy more than one because I've made that mistake before and not been able to find the other one. So where, okay, I see it. Let's see what is in store. I gotta open up that. Oh, you know what? Let's pull the van ahead just a little bit. There we go. All right, I already see another airsoft rifle. I don't know about these, man. I thought they would be a little bit better of a profit. 20 bucks for this little tiny seat. Uh, oh, another bicycle. It's broken, but it's worth 350 once we fix it. I kind of like that. Let's throw this guy in here. There, that's perfect, man. What do we got here? An RC drift car. No kidding. Two hundred and twenty bucks. Okay, I kind of like this unit already. Don't like this table. What a junker. We'll throw it right over here. Okay, maybe not. So far, this has been a great unit. Look at that. Two graphics cards. Another gun case. Oh, 1100 bucks. I'm okay with that. Ooh, we got some artwork. You guys know how I feel about art. I don't know him personally, but that's a pretty cool name. Let's see what's in the bag here. And we got a DVD. Uh, we got a phone. We got another DVD. Okay. All right. I'm okay with that. So I don't know if we'll be able to fit it in the van, but we're going to go price another one here. Hopefully we can get it nearby. We just bought 18 to 23 is going to be the closest. You know what? 22 10. Kind of like these numbers. 17 76, 22 10. Kind of like these numbers. And we're not far away. Okay. We're right around the corner. Uh, right around the back side. I, I want to see what's in this thing. Hopefully nothing too big. Okay. So, all right. Not bad. We might have to carry it while we drive, which I kind of like that trick. But we're going to carry this thing so we can drive it. I love that trick. That is super cool. Uh, but yeah, the van's full. I think we did good. And I'm okay with having 6,000 bucks left. I don't think I've ever left the storage place with more than that. Well, here's the hard part. Unloading this. But, like I said, we're just gonna throw it on the shelf. And in the morning, when our workers get here, we'll have him price everything. So, this shouldn't take long at all. Uh, shoes. Yeah, we'll put our shoes over here. 
Well, for the second time this episode, the van is all unloaded. There's items without... Yeah, I know. We haven't priced it yet. Uh, but you know what? Oh, you know what? I forgot we took the van. I was, like, trying to fast travel. Let's get a good night's sleep. Get back to the shop. We got... We got a ton of inventory, but this time we can fast travel. And we are opening up the store at like 808. And then we got to come in and tell this guy to price everything that's on the shelves. There we go. And gets this guy to work. There was barely any broken items. Look, we got a bicycle, a couple DVDs, microwave. Um... And our first customer of the day. Oh, hang on a second. Um, yeah, get out of here with that. Uh, I forgot to put our ring away. We had one piece of jewelry out of both of those units. Now we can have that guy price it and grab our microwave and put it on the shelf. Oops. I gotta get this over here. Take care of our customer. 60 bucks. $60 pair of shoes. It's been a pretty busy day already, but it's a lot of small stuff. Nobody's buying anything big, so... Um... I don't know. We haven't made a bunch of money by any means, but... I think everything's fixed. Oh, no. I still got a couple of DVDs. This guy, what are you doing standing around? Get to work. You got time to lean? You got time to clean. Oh, we got a little bit bigger. He wants the uh, another airsoft rifle. So let's go. Let's see if we get 250 out of him. Now, how about 240? All right, cool. I'm happy with that. I'll take that DVD, sir. Here we go. This lady wants the camera for six forty nine. We're asking six fifty. Let's see if we can bargain her back up to six fifty, just like that. Easy peasy. It's a shoes and toys kind of day. Hundred six, hundred and eight. You got it, lady. What's a couple bucks? I think we've got one. Yeah, we got a tablet in here. Um. Oh yeah, we got this DVD. It's like a $45 DVD when it's fixed. Repair the item. We'll go find a place on the shelf for this tablet. This tablet is not really worth a lot. I'm going to let this guy do the work. There we go. It should be $35. Bucks. All right. And we've got... This guy must have a lot of money. He's dressed like it, right? 100 bucks for a microwave. He's offering us 72 can you can you meet me at 90? Can you meet me at 85? Thanks, buddy. And our DVD is done. Now everything's finished. So she wants the VR. Um, she's offering us 143. Let's see if we can bring her up to 180. 175. 170. I don't want to go any lower than that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I can't believe it's almost the end of the day. So we have like two and a half hours left. And we still got all this stuff on the shelves. Electronics? Nobody wants to buy electronics today. They're all like super low ball offers. Like this guy. 170 bucks for the toolbox. This guy's offering us 88. I just... I can't do it, man. I just... Like that's crazy. Yeah. We're, we're just, I don't know, just not a good day at the shop, I guess. There we go. There's a watch. We're asking 980, 845, so we're not really far off. Let's see if he'll meet me at 940. Okay, he did. I should have said 950. Son of a gun. We're like an hour away from closing. Ooh, there we go. That's a decent offer. That's a decent offer. 450... Can you meet me at 4.30? All right, she did. Cool. We're back up over 10,000. We've got a lot of big ticket items. Got a drift car for 220. 
uh, gaming racing wheel for 550 a uh, couple of game chips or uh, PC chips couple of graphics cards uh, what else we got VR another graphics card how come this isn't what's going on with this Okay, let's go get him to price that as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got that. Oh, we can't. He left for the day. So we've got to price it ourselves. This might be our last customer of the day. Um, don't really want to go much lower than that. Suppose we don't have a choice. All right, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it for the day. I don't think anybody's going to walk through those doors with two minutes left. So that's it for us. We are uh, at the end of another day. Not a very good one. I mean, we still have some high ticket items. How come I can't shut the door? What's going on here? What the heck is going on here? All right, we'll leave it open. So I think all I'm going to do is fast travel to the van. We're going to sleep and we're going to go right back. Because this episode, I don't have a lot of time left for this episode. So what we might as well do is uh, see if we can clean out the store and have a pocket or a fist full of cash for the next time. Whoops. It helps if you hit the open sign. There we go. Now we're getting offers. 170. No bargains. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 460 for a ring? I wonder. What if we can't get her at 490? Yeah. Okay. So we lost 10 bucks. And not even. I am sure we've made a profit on whatever storage unit that came out of. There we go. That's a big ticket item. Eleven hundred bucks for the gun case. Let's see if we can get him at a thousand. Now he wants to be a little bit. How about 950? Okay. Alright, look at that. 125. It's almost noon, and we're looking at a lot of empty. A lot of empty shelves. Our jewelry. We've got one electronic left. Couple art things on the art table. Uh, a couple toys. I guess we got more electronics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if we can clear the store out, I'd be a happy guy. Close up shop. Go home early. Spend a little... Okay. All right. This guy's... This guy's uh, looking for... He got it. We have very little on the shelf, so I'm not sure what she's looking for. Oh, she's looking for another computer chip. Um, 350. Can we get her at like 280? I'd be a happy guy. Okay, so we're at $15,524. And look at this. That's all we got left. One, two, three, four, five items. I think we're just about finished here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take it. Well, actually, let's let's see if we can get. Let's see if we can get 20 bucks for it. Um, no. All right, let's see if we can do 17. I should do it. Uh, you know what? Maybe not. All right, 15. So that leaves a one item on the shelf. And we have, it's 1,800 out. So we got about 50 minutes, 40 minutes left. Before we have to close up for the day. Well, that's it. That is that is the end of a day. We've got one item left. And uh, I guess it's going to stay there. We've got almost $16,000. To go shopping. But that's going to have to take place on the next one. Because that's all the time we have for tonight. But that's okay. That's all right. We've got a lot of money, a lot of empty shelves. It's kind of like a fresh start on the next episode. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. Uh, if you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you hit the sub button as well. Join us 
on our journey because you never know where that journey's going to bring us. I thank you all. Speaking of journeys, thank you all for joining me, not just today, but every day. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, look after one another, and be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Much love, everybody. Peace.